Okay. Snowmobiling. Winter in Wisconsin is picturesque. Snowflakes obscuring the clear skies, floating ever so slowly on the blanket of snow already coating the ground. The streets are desolate and black. Only the flickering of flames from nearby homes illuminate the streets. If you look closely out the window of your home, you can see little flickers of light moving at high speeds. You watch in awe what looks to you as a light show. These little flickers of light are none other than the headlights of snowmobiles frolicking in the open fields or zipping through the nearby trails. For Cameron and many other snowmobile riders, falling snow in bone chilling weather doesn't stop them from enjoying the great outdoors. Cameron has had a love for snowmobiling since he was a little boy. He has vivid memories of riding on the tank of his dad's snowmobile and tooling around with him for hours on end, loving every minute of it. Cameron's passion for snowmobiling came when he was about six years old and was riding on his dad's snowmobile as he always did. Cameron warned his dad about the side hill up ahead. His dad acknowledged Cameron's response by reassuring him that it was no big deal, but as they hit the side hill, the snowmobile flipped and rolled on top of Cameron. For some time after the incident, Cameron feared snowmobiles, but as little Cameron told himself, anything that can defeat me or makes me afraid, I will try to beat it and never stop until I make it. So Cameron hopped back on the snowmobile and hasn't looked back, overcoming his fear in the process. The Rush River Trail Riders, or for short, RRTR, is Cameron's second home. Everybody is so welcoming and willing to lend a helping hand. Over the years, the RRTR has grown tremendously. When the club first started, there were only five, a few riders, but now they have over 100 members. In the 1970s, land was donated to the RRTR. With the land, they built a tin building known as the clubhouse and carved some trails nearby. Rush River Trail riders welcome welcomes everybody who is of age and has a snowmobile's li snowmobile license. All you must do to join is pay a small membership fee to maintain the clubhouse and trails. The clubhouse is where members can mingle and eat with each other any time of the day, seven days a week. A group of members, usually five to twelve, go out and ride together at any given time. The RTR does not allow anybody who is under age, under the legal age limit to operate a snowmobile. The Rush in Wisconsin, you must be at least 13 years old to operate a snowmobile. The Rush River Trail Riders does not allow riders who damage or disrespect the trails and land. Cameron's passion for snowmobiling has grown since joining the Rush River Trail Riders when he was 13 years old. When Cameron walks into the clubhouse on a Friday night, there are people of all ages sitting around the perimeter of a tin building, sitting in booths, playing all different kinds of card games. As he walks further into the building, he catches a glimpse of one of his buddies cooking a hamburger open over the open fire in the center of the clubhouse. To get his buddy's attention, Cameron yells rap in a squealing voice to imitate the sound of a motor. His buddy turns around with a huge smile on his face and in the squealing voice replies with brap. Cameron and his buddies sit down for some dinner and talk about how excited they are for their upcoming annual snowmobile trip up to Yellowstone National Park and the surrounding areas with their dads and buddies. The day Cameron has been looking forward to all year has finally arrived and he could not be more enthused about this trip. His buddies and him all get their things packed into a couple of vehicles ready to take on their 17 hour car ride up to the mountains. Once they arrive at the cabin, Cameron cannot wait to go out for a rip on the powdered snowmobiles capable of taking on mounds of freshly fallen snow. Yellowstone has some of the largest mounds of snow towering at heights of 8 feet or greater. Riding through the mountains is scenic. Wild elk and bison are roaming through the valleys, and lynx and coyotes, coyotes, coyotes are perched on cliffs high in the mountains. Every t everything in sight has a mask of snow covering its natural beauty. Riding in Yellowstone National Park is breathtaking. Trails winding in between mountains and over masses of water with sunsets in every shade of pink. Cameron's favorite thing to do on a snowmobile is carving, or as a non-snowmobiler would say, Accelerating on just one ski and letting the back end of the snowmobile swing around in and out of the large trees covered in dense mounds of snow, making the bra branches of the trees sag. Cameron and his buddies take advantage of every opportunity they get to be outside riding because their days in Yellowstone are numbered and the views here are like none other. On the way home from Yellowstone National Park, Cameron thought back on how much Rush River Trail riders and snowmobiling has taught him and impacted his life. Snowmobiling in the Rush River Trail Riders has taught Cameron resilience. If you fall off your snowmobile, you must get back up and continue to trying until you succeed. Failure is not an option for Cameron. 
Rochefort Trail Riders has also taught Cameron what it means to be a part of a family and to always lend a helping hand to somebody in need. Snowmobiling is more than a hobby for Cameron, it's a lifestyle and he wouldn't want to spend his, summer, his winter doing anything else.